I have never seen a TV show of six seasons where every episode hits. Bro, just chill, chill, just chill, bro, just chill. This is a spoiler. Do not watch if you've not seen Snowfall. I repeat, this is your final warning. Only watch this if you've seen Snowfall. <sighs> what a show. <laughs> what a freaking show. What an amazing ending. You cannot argue about that ending. Because this is like Walter White in Breaking Bad. This is like, again, um... Tony Montana in Al in um, Scarface. So what was the theme? There were many things, but the theme particular obviously the main theme was about drugs in America and so forth. But specific to Franklin Saints, what was the theme here? Obsession. There was a very key scene. I think it was in the penultimate episode where Cece, you know, Franklin's mom was like, "Look, look at what this money has done to us." Look at how it's polluted us. Look at how it's polluted you. Look at the issue that is brought. Let's just forget this. Walk away. Hand Teddy over to the KGB. Let's just be, be done done with this. And Frank was like, no, I want that money. I'm not walking away from that money. And you won't just have to admire the obsession, but just his obsession with, I have to get that money. I've got to get that money. Because there's just so many things to talk about. Okay. See, my head is just going crazy, so I'll try and be as coherent as I can. One thing I loved from the final episode was the switch. So how did it start? Franklin was the goody two-shoes, who'd never killed anyone before, never even held a gun, and Leon was the tough guy. Leon was the guy who bring a gun, who kill everyone, boom, boom. So he was the true, true, 100% thug. Killing means nothing to him, man. He's, he's, he's there fully. And look at how the journey went. Leon had a an epiphany, rediscovered himself, and you then saw him. Um, so, 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 and there's a whole sort of rediscovery, and you, you saw him go to Ghana, and he then did a switch of like, oh, no, 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 how I was was different. And Leon was now a lot. So, Leon pretty much became what Franklin was at the start. And Franklin, and Franklin throughout the series became Leon, but even worse, and even a lot more unhinged. So just the progression and the change between those two was amazing. Um, so, and that obsession that Franklin had, you can admire the obsession. You can admire it. Because sometimes, you know, to achieve things, you've got to have that diligent, dogged obsession and concentration to really achieve those great, great things. But you have to know that what are you losing by trying to achieve this? And the way that things messed up, it made sense. It was poetic. Cece had to kill Teddy. It had to happen like that. Because, you know, the moment Teddy... In when Teddy said that, oh, your husband is still alive, I was like, Cece, don't believe this crap. Don't see because I was I was gonna be so angry because if she had freed him and so forth, and he I was like, I know he was lying, I knew he was freaking lying, man. I knew Teddy was freaking lying. So I was like, Cece, don't free him, don't I knew he was telling a lie. So when he said that, yeah, I lied, I killed him. I was like, oh god. And then I actually like literally what a so before I watched the last episode, I actually said what Franklin said to Cece in prison, which is that you could have waited 10 seconds. <laughs> you could have just waited 10 seconds. You could have just allowed him to say to say the um to say the account numbers, let it go and boom. But I think it's a point that Leon made. She didn't want Franklin to have that money. And when you just look at the breakdown of the relationship between Frankly, and, and of course, what, what, what the characters, the, the, the name of the actress who is Cece, she's amazing because she was, she's in um, Nightcrawler with um, Jake Gyllenhaal. And of course, she was um, D'Angelo Baxter's mother in The in the Wire. 
you know, so yeah, so basically, she's been in sort of the greatest TV shows of all time, The Wire and then this. So, you know, so she's, she's hatched herself, like, um, but, but like, sh- like, when you just look at that scene, man, it's, it is so, it's heartbreaking. When, like, bro, like, she lost her brother. So, you see, she lost her brother, killed. She lost her husband, killed. And she effectively lost her son. And she basically lost her son. She so she lost all her family. So for her, she's like, okay, like I understand that mood because for her, there's nothing to live for now. The only thing that she had to live for was her son rejecting the money and just coming back to reality. But when she just saw that her son Rosa had just gone off the rails completely, and then Teddy then said that it was like, okay, screw it. Like I was angry because I was like, bro, frankly, you so so close you touch about everything you're so close so it was, it was crazy but and also did you see the reference i because i already knew you know in the final episode when they're walking and they say oh if, if film, something's being filmed we all know it was boys in the hood so that's just like a nod to john Stanley singleton so yeah that was, a, that was a nice nod but um bro man look at what it looked like look at what franklin looked like in in our final ep Damson Idris, Niger guy, Niger guy. What, what a performance, man. What a performance. Because you have to understand where he was, how he started, how he progressed, and how he ended up. It's one of the great story acts. So, so it's one of the great character acts in any TV show. Of his act from episode 1, season 1, to episode 10, season 6. It is an amazing act, an amazing journey that he's been. And I think... so. So Damson Idris is 31 now, and he said he got the role, started the role when he was 23. So for most of his 20s, has been involved in doing this, man. So he's been so good. And just how messed up and disheveled he was in that final ep next to Leon, I was like, wow. 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 I mean, what a way to end it. What, what a way to end this show, guys. And guys, I'm like... Because, and again, since it's a spoiler review, you would have watched all of the episodes. Guys, did a season miss? Did an episode miss? So now, I'm not debating what is the greatest TV show. It's between this and, and The Wire. I'm still saying The Wire, based on just how deep it is and just how complex it is. But guys, I have never seen a TV show of six seasons where every episode hits. Guys, there were some boring episodes of Game of Thrones. The last season of Game of Thrones was great. Guys, Breaking Bad only really started getting good towards the second half of the first season and the second third season. Because Breaking Bad, I stopped after three episodes. I stopped because I thought it was it was boring. I stopped, and then somebody had to convince me to to continue. Then it became good. This from episode one, season one, was always money. It's all it's been money all the way through. Like amazing directing, amazing writing. Oh God! I mean, God, I've got to go. Shout out. I mean, Joseph, man, bro, man, the way they got Jerome, because I love that. My favorite character is obviously Franklin. My favorite character, second favorite character, is probably Jerome. And then after Jerome, because actually, actually, actually liked, I actually, I actually liked them both, Jerome and Louis. They were a great couple. I love them both, you know. Um, and of course, like Cece, you know, no, no, I was always a fan of because I liked Cece because she was. Cece was like Franklin's moral compass. You know how you have like, let's say the devil and the angel. Like the devil was the money for Franklin and the angel was Cece. And they were just both battling for his soul. Ultimately, the devil being the money won over Franklin's soul. Um, but um, what, is, what, is, what is show, man? What is show? Because I'm like, I was, I've, for every single episode, I've been gripped. Every single episode I've been gripped. And it's going to be an ending that's just going to really hit people. Because you're like, wow. He. And what is funny though, because I think it's a similar shot. So I think in the very first time you see Franklin, he's walking down that same street. Obviously not looking at that, but he's walking down that same, same street. So it is, it is like a repeat of that very first shot that you see him. But this time... Then, just a young regular kid, you know, in, in South Central LA. But now, poor, not showered. Like I think Damson Idris says, he didn't shower at all for that scene because he wanted it to feel authentic. Not showered, 
looking disheveled, down on the barrel, bro. What is shown? So, guys, if you've seen it, man, just tell me what if you're going to show what you thought of the ending. Whether you feel like if the ending rhymed and it's made sense based on just because, quite frankly, it's just he, 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 bro, you just went off the rails, man. You went off the rails. It is, it is similar to how I felt watching Tony Montana in um in um oh gosh in Scarface. I was like, bro, just chill, chill, just chill, bro, just chill. No chill, no chill, man. Crazy, man. Crazy.